Hey, 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 what's up, boys? Your boy, Jesus Trump, everybody, Faith, Baby, Daddy, Voice of the Street, man. And today we in <laughs> Chicago, Brother Real Entertainment, y'all. We in the studio, man. Now, look, we probably gonna start this June 1st because I'm just getting all this stuff. Uh, I gotta start going live. And uh, I guess I the membership should kick in probably this week, next week. They said by the week I looked into it. And uh, I got to pick a few moderators. So I think it's like $20 to be a moderator, $30 to be an extra moderator. Something I had to read up on that. And uh, I'm going to need some help. So y'all who want to do that, y'all go and get their cash up in and uh, let me know. I got to pick some people. Hopefully you're familiar with the G Shrimp Show. And uh, then the membership probably, I'm going to probably keep it low, about $9.99, maybe flat $10. We're not trying to. Uh, Rob nobody. We just want y'all to join so y'all can be part of the uh, G Shrimp Show and what we got going on. And, you know, for the fans that been rocking with me, I appreciate it. The ones who been coming and going, I still appreciate. It. I ain't mad at nobody. Like I tell people, sometimes people uh, unsubscribe accidentally. Sometimes you might say something uh, people don't agree with, and. Um, you just can't make everybody happy, man. I'm sorry if I ain't making everybody happy, but I just can't do it, man. I can't wake up and, uh, please, 9,705 motherfuckers every day. One video ain't gonna please all y'all. It's gonna rub somebody the wrong way. And then you gotta realize some people wanna get rubbed the wrong way, y'all. Some people, uh, they'll watch you all while you're struggling, man, and, uh, as soon as you start coming up, they want to jump ship. Or they want to come in when you just get up there. It's always two different type of people, you know. Some, that, that really, the people that really fuck with you, they happy for you. They still go be down. I know who them is. Most of them people got my phone number. Them the ones got my phone number. Them the ones I don't have to ask for a cash up. They just do it because they might have had a good laugh. They might just keep talking shit. And you got some people in there, they be doing little stupid shit. I don't read emojis. I understand what some of them mean, but I don't read that shit. You know, but you know when motherfucker turn. All that's cap. Yeah, well, I'm glad you think that. It ain't a story I told y'all that's been cap at all. I only try to tell y'all the PG stories. So there's no need for the uh, cap. There's no need to cap. You know, I'll tell y'all all the stories. Everybody survived. Everybody, yeah, okay. Nobody died. That's right. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, that's how it really supposed to be. And I'm not trying to get up here and act like I'm the biggest gangster in the world, Joe. I just know I ain't the biggest pussy in the world. I know that for a fact. You know what I mean? I'm still here. I'm still here. And uh, when you get older, you realize all that shit you went through for nothing, man. And I say this all the time, man. Street credit can't buy you shit. You hear me? I'm going to say that again, man. Street credit can't buy you shit. So all you young guys out here slanging that iron, thinking you getting your name up there and all that shit, you just, man, uh, making people want to hurt you, man. And I know how that shit go, man. They say you you ain't standing, making no noise in the city if a motherfucker ain't tried to kill you. And that's a fact. You know, if a motherfucker ain't never tried to kill you, you weren't on too much of shit. And that mean you was a problem to the other side. And I ain't saying that's a good thing, because uh, when motherfuckers want you dead, bro, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, especially if you ain't ready to defend yourself every fucking minute of the day. It ain't like they get to take time off. When your stomach hurting, it's still up. When you can't see, it's still up. Your baby crying need milk. You trying to run up there and grab it real quick and come back. It's still up. You know, you pulling McDonald's with your child in the car. It's still up, bro. You know, so you got to learn how to move. And you'll be a damn fool to run the street all your life and not want to stop running. I done ran the street all my life, bro. It's time for me to walk. You know what I mean? I'm walking the goddamn streets. I'm not running. Oh, goddamn well. And I hope some of y'all make it to get my age to have you some grandkids and kids. Because life is short and it goes by fast. I was telling my daughter that um, a couple of months back. I was telling her, I said, damn, 
Seemed like you were just 10 years old. She like, <laughs> Daddy, it wasn't just yesterday. I'm like, so damn, this seemed like it. She like, no, it's been a little while. I guess she like, no, nah, it's been a little while, but I'm like, shit. Time fly when you're having fun, though, see? It really do fly when you're having fun. And, uh, I've been having fun. And, uh, shit happened. And then when I think about some of my guys that's gone, y'all, I got a guy doing 38 years for robbing the bank. My right-hand man, uh, General Dice. Shout out to General Dice. It didn't even have to be like that, y'all. You know, because, uh, motherfucker was getting my bags of money with dying and all that shit. A lot of that shit, it wasn't even worth it, man. You know, all that shit we went through, man, it, it wasn't even worth it, man. It wasn't even worth it. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't do nothing the same but uh, have my children. That's it. And if I could change, baby mamas, maybe one, one of them. I wouldn't say all of them. Maybe one. Maybe two. But then I, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. They be, I ain't going to say that. But I probably would change two of their ass, though. To be honest, I probably would. But that's just me. That's just my thoughts, man. I be going through a lot of shit. It's good, man. I want y'all to do this. And some of y'all, if y'all could do it, do it. Just try this, right? Just turn your camera on and just start talking. And see how boring your ass can sound. Or see how exciting you can sound. Or see where you at. And then you decide if you want to do this shit. Some of this shit, it be just random thoughts, man. I be just random thoughts. Like, for instance, y'all see me put my grandkids right here? Now, I wanted them to uh, PG the program. <sighs> These little motherfuckers that don't hear y'all, they got more horror stories than I got. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't put your ass over there to tell people you gang banging and shit. He not in no gang, y'all, but he was went through shit, my grandson. I'm like, wait a minute. That story he was telling y'all, I hadn't heard that motherfucker. I heard some of it, but not all the part he told. I'm like, you little motherfucker, you. You go get on here and act like you a little G shrimp in training. You is not a G shrimp in training. I was trying to put you on here to make the program wholesome. And hopefully I can pass the baton down to them. Because I got another channel I was going to give them, y'all. And I was going to make it a kid channel. They'll kick their ass right off the kid neck where they'll be like, oh, hell no. Send them motherfucker back over there to the adult motherfucking channel. They'll burn me up, man. Them people be like, man, then we ask you if this shit was for kids. They said they got jumped on and they been drugged and all this. I'm like, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, check on your kids sometime. Sometime you need to go up to these grammar schools, pay attention. And you got to pay attention to uh, when your kids on these computers because uh, cyberbullying is uh, so stressful, y'all. You know, and, and it, it ain't simple. You be thinking, oh, well, you can just turn the computer off and everything. It do get to you, you know. It, it will get to you. I mean, it don't bother me, but when Charleston White was fucking with me just all in my comments, that shit started making me mad. I said, look at this goof-ass nigga. He got all this energy to the fuck with me, bro. Why you fucking with me? I'm trying to get where you at. Why you you fucking with me? And then I'm like wondering why, where he get my name from. But I know where he got it from, y'all. I, I ain't never really spoke on this. Maybe once. I didn't say too much about it. Say Cheese showed him my shit. And he don't like me. He don't even know me, y'all. Talking about the Charleston White, that motherfucker, funny looking ass nigga. That motherfucker don't like me because I'm from Chicago and he don't like Vaughn and Lil Dirk them. I don't got shit to do with them. I'm way older than them nigga. I'm living uh, way past them nigga. I'm trying to do shit different. And you fucking with me. Yeah, I'm a clown. I show this. I despise this channel. I want to shut this channel off. You a clown, G Shrimp. You was just all in the comments playing. He got niggas trying to find out who he is. They like, G, who is this nigga playing with you in the comments? I said, I don't know who the fuck he is. I didn't think he was Charlton White, y'all. I thought he was somebody using his name. Then when I tracked him down and went to his page, 
I see him in Dewberry name. I didn't know Dewberry yet, though, y'all. But then I start seeing Dewberry. I said, so that was these two goof-ass niggas. And then some other bitch named Jessica White. I ain't forget you, you stanky hoe. I blocked both of them bitches. Both of their ass. Then they called me on my phone, y'all. <laughs> called me on my phone. Said, G Shrimp suck my dick. I said, fuck you, nigga. I blocked that number two. I ain't got time to play with nobody, man. How can a grown ass man want to play with somebody he don't know? That's what I don't get when people be trolling. When y'all be trolling and shit, that shit don't make no sense, man. And then when you fucking with people that'll get you hurt, that shit there is really dumb. Because everybody don't play like that. You got some of these guys, man, they, they want to keep up shit. Especially these young boys, they want to keep up shit. We got a lot of niggas that just can't wait to get it on. I tell y'all, get caught off like that. All we got a whole no sleep gang over here, and these motherfuckers ain't calling themselves the no sleep gang for nothing. These motherfuckers don't sleep. <laughs> they don't sleep, and they won't beef all the time. So if I be like, okay, I got a steak for y'all. Since y'all won't beef, I got something for you. Here you go. Go check that out. You know, but I'm too grown for that shit, y'all. I'm too grown for that shit. Then I just got married, y'all. Don't tell nobody that. I just got married. Y'all see my wife over here, right? I'm going to start a whole nother channel. I'm going to let y'all see her every day. I'm going to let y'all see her every day. And then y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, I kind of liked that video, but you know, it's just something different. But you know, uh, everything going pretty good. My other friend said, oh, you got married and uh, monetized in the same month. Wow, big things. I said, mm -hmm. sound kind of sarcastic. She's being sarcastic. This is a woman, y'all. Shh. My friend from, where's she from? Long Beach. She probably be mad like, damn, now you forgot where I lived that nigga. Yeah, you're supposed to do that. Guys, don't be keeping up with your ex-girlfriends, places where they live and stay, and addresses and all that shit, you know, then that means you want to keep up with her, you know. But I don't understand. I understand if you don't break up. If you break up with somebody and y'all break up on good terms. Well, how the fuck do you? Let me just stop right there. How do you break up on good terms? Because we didn't fight. Because we didn't did. If we broke up, something went wrong. Somebody hit the bricks. Maybe it was me. When you got a relationship and y'all ain't giving 50 50, and if goddamn it is 70 30, and a motherfucker get tired of putting in that 70 and pull it out, the whole relationship will fall because bitch, you weren't putting in but 30% anyway. So that shit fell right down as soon as he pulled the 70 out. And them be the motherfuckers that stay in your comment, stay calling, you want to know how you're doing. Bitch, if you cared how much I was doing, you should have stayed in a relationship. If not, move on. I don't give a fuck if you find somebody look like me. Move on, though. You know, don't act like you in love now. No, you should have been in love when you was in this relationship. Like dudes them say, love should have brought your ass home last night. Motherfucker, quick to say how much they love a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Y'all heard the song, Love Will Make You Stay Out All Night Long, Make You Come Home Early, Do All That Shit When You In Love. When You Ain't In Love, You Don't Give No Fuck. And like I said, I don't have no more fucks to give about nobody that don't care about me, y'all. That's how I feel for real. I fuck with my subscribers more than I do some of the people in the goddamn world. They call me, fuck with me every day, whether it's on the text, call all the time, all the time. You don't believe me? Check my goddamn phone and you'll see. Everybody I damn near talk to is a fucking subscriber. At least I know we locked in. Ain't no phony shit. You know, ain't no phony shit. You know, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm going to be shooting some videos too, y'all. And y'all need some videos shot too. I'm going to write an ebook too, man. Because I had another little guy called me and was asking me about some shit. And I'm like, man, I'm going I'm to write a book for y'all. Because uh, there's a lot of shit YouTube won't tell y'all, man. They is, they is not cool when it comes to certain shit. 
it's not cool. They will let you just wander the world blind like a motherfucker. They don't care. They don't care if you don't get it right. <laughs> they gonna keep putting your videos up here, doing what they doing. They don't care if you don't get it right or you never get a paycheck. They really don't. But somebody needs to care. Because there's too many people that I see and I be like, damn, why he ain't monetized? Why he ain't monetized? Why he ain't monetized? Now some people get monetized and get demonetized. You got to watch what you're doing sometimes too. That's why if y'all notice all my videos lately been saying just G shrunk. Because when you type in certain shit in there, the computer kick that shit out. They want a reason not to pay you. Oh, don't give them no reason not to pay you, y'all. Fuck that. Don't give them no reason not to pay you. You know, because uh, they will find one. I still be saying, if y'all, well, y'all can't see what's on my phone. But, uh... When you monetize and you getting paid for this video, it should have commercials and a, a green dollar sign on it. Sometimes that motherfucker be yellow. You know what that mean? We may pay you and we may not. Like running through a yellow light, be careful, be cautious. And they'll tell you that too. This video may or may not be paid for. What the fuck you mean may or may not be paid for? What that supposed to mean? I ain't did nothing wrong. This video is just like the other video. But some of them they don't want to pay you for. They like no, nah, this motherfucker getting too many spins or whatever. That's how it is, huh? But anyway, man, I'm finna go change clothes, man. I'll be back in a minute. I got a whole story that I got to do for the podcast. I'm gonna do them together, y'all, so y'all be able to check it out. Uh, y'all can't see my new chat back. I, I, look. Okay, y'all can see it now. Mm-hmm. I'm coming up, man. Your book coming up, man. I told y'all I was going to make y'all proud of me. Didn't I tell y'all that? Y'all thought I was playing, didn't you?